Today I'm going to show you how to e-wrap a loom. Now e-wrapping can be done on either a long or a round loom. And as you can see, I have my yarn secured to my anchor peg here on the side. When you e-wrap a loom, your goal is to get the cursive letter E formed around the peg. The yarn should never cross on the outside of the loom. It always uh, crosses on the inside of the loom, as you can see, with the top of the cursive letter E always pointing to the outside of the loom, just like that. Okay, so you, you are going to e-wrap all the way around, making a formation that looks like a cursive letter E. Until you have all the pegs that you want wrapped, wrapped on your loom. Now you can do this on a long loom um, to this point and then go back across or you can continue around until you reach the beginning um, if you're knitting like a tube. It just depends on what the pattern calls for. Okay, now as you can see, I have returned to where I started wrapping, and at this point each peg has been wrapped twice. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and knit off by bringing each of the bottom loops up and over the top loop that's on the peg. Um, in loom knitting, we call this the e-wrap. In uh, traditional knitting, they call this stitch the twisted stockinette stitch. 